Hello, Mr. Heap here, and uh, just to show you where we left off at the last video, we have an app, which I have this terribly colored green, and uh, with uh, my first GUI writing, which is text, and then we have a text box where we can type words in. Great. Uh, this still doesn't do anything that interesting, uh, but I think the push button starts to add features which start to get interesting. So that's what we're learning about today, the push button. And to, to put it, type it in, it is a uh, capital P and a capital B for push in the push button. The first thing we need to do is tell it where to put it, and we're going to put it in the app. And let's have a text say, push me, because a push button loves to be pushed. So if I click run, now we have a new push button. And I'm sure you've seen these a million places on the internet. And it's just a button where if you push something could possibly happen. We haven't programmed anything to happen quite yet, but we are about to. So let's say uh, we want to have it say something. Let's, because that's something I'm thinking about. Uh, so let's print, I love Pokemon. Great. Uh, now, it's not going to do anything until we come down here and tell the push button to use the command Pokemon. So now we don't need an open and close parentheses like we used in our first chapter or anything because it is looking for a function. Uh, so the command is Pokemon and so now when I run this our app is going to pop up and when I push the button it's going to say I love Pokemon not on our GUI but over in our shell because I said print. Now that's fine and dandy. You can see that the the GUI the function is working, but that's not something we want. We want uh, we want it to be in our GUI. So we have a bunch of different options we can do based on what we want. So we could make it a new text. Take and put a new text in our app, and the text is just says I love Pokemon. Let's see what that does. So we're gonna run it, and every time we push it. It just says, I love Pokemon for as many times as we want to push it. just puts another one down until the screen is filled up. Uh, that's fine. Uh, it's a little annoying, even if you do love Pokemon. Um, so let's think of another option. Uh, maybe what would be nice is, see how we have a, our text, at, our first text that says first GUI writing? Let's just put uh, this text to replace that. So let's call uh, this top writing so because we need a variable name for it and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, I'm going to erase this business and I'm going to say top writing dot value equals I love Pokemon and now I need that to get out of the way so now this should be more reasonable if it does what I expect it to do now when I click on this It'll just change the top to I Love Pokemon. That's fine. That, that works pretty good. But n now uh, what we want is for th this to push the button and it replaces with whatever we typed in. All right, so we're going to get out of here. And our text box, we're going to want to name it something. Uh, I'll say text box writing equals text box writing. So what uh, this will look a little weird, but we want to change the top writing value to text box writing dot value. So what that does is it takes the value in the text box writing and then uh, puts it uh, where we want it in the top writing. Uh, so let's run this to see what it looks like. So I'm gonna run this. And I'm going to say, instead of I love Harry Potter, maybe, or I love Pokemon, let's say I love Harry Potter. And now when I put push me, now it replaces the text at the top with whatever text we have in here. 